This is Shaolin Crumb. And Shaolin Crumb worked inside of the rice field. He works for a young lady by the name of Sweet Lou. Now, Sweet Lou comes from a family that has plenty of money, a good background. She in the office writing checks, but she tight as hell, ignorant, always screaming, crying, and always talking about something. She's bloated. This is Sweet Lou, the boss, sitting in the office, counting out that money and trying to divvy up the pay for everybody. But she penny pension. She making sure everybody get equal pay. You could have been working there 20 years, 10 years, or 5 years. Even if you're a new employee, everybody makes the same amount. She's a nasty motherfucker. This is the Dark Wolf. Dark Wolf is one of the five deadly venoms. His specialty is killing, and his specialty is using a spear. Also, his secret weapon is talking, tattletelling, spreading rumors, getting you beat down, getting you robbed, always telling your business. So anything that you want to know, he knows it. He talked too much. And that's how he get people to surrender. Now, the Dark Wolf snuck past everybody, made it into the office, and went to kidnap Sweet Lou. He started talking to the death. She screamed and hollered, Oh, somebody help me! Crumb, where you at? I said, yo, why that bitch call me? It's like a hundred other people out here. Yo, why is she calling me? She didn't even get my money for last week. I ain't the fuck going in there. Somebody else go. Dark Wolf told Sweet Lou, if you don't follow me, you got two choices. Either I'm going to kill you, or the second choice, I will talk you to death, tattletale, tell you everybody's business, and your business, and everything else. So Sweet Lou agreed to go with him, and she kept calling, Shaolin Crumb, Shaolin Crumb. Shaolin Crumb heard her out in the field, like, yo, why that bitch call me? She didn't even get my goddamn money. Fuck that. I ain't get my ass whooped. Now, Shaolin Crumb, he's up in the rice fields. He look and see the commotion and everything that's going on. He's like, yo, what the fuck is going on? She's trying to get away with my money, because remember, she's following the Dark Wolf. So... Uh, Shaolin Crumb started running through the woods and everything because he went after his money. He don't give a fuck about what happened to that girl. He won his goddamn money because she hasn't paid him in like two weeks, damn near. Him and all the workers. As Shaolin Crumb is running through the woods, he stopped dead in his tracks by this person. This girl, her name is Red Fox. She's one of the five deadly venoms. She's boss number two. She normally kill you and ask questions later. She don't even like to play no games. You look at her, give her a side eye or a corny joke, she'll kill you. And she told Shaolin Crumb, we must fight to the death. You pass me, you can make it to the Shaolin Temple because that's where Shaolin Crumb need to go to, to update and enhance his skill. Shaolin Crumb said to himself, look, I'm not fitting to get my ass whooped by this girl. I heard of her, and my skills ain't there, so I'm not going to sit up here, get my ass whooped, get killed, and I can't even get my pay. I'm going to give her ass a bowl of rice. So Shaolin Crumb gave her a bowl of rice from the rice field. While Red Fox was eating her bowl of rice, it was, the right, it was that rice that had rice, gravy, and onions. Y'all remember back in the day, pork yacht? Well, this was the same type of rice, that real thick gravy that's made with lard and everything else. Rice, gravy, and onions from takeout. That's just how she liked it. So while she was feeding her ass, Crumb radios, and also a.k.a. Shaolin Crumb, he ran through the woods and made it to the Shaolin Temple. Once he made it to the temple, he just saw the Shaolin monk, the abbot, the master of all monks, DJJ. He just got finished towing a horse carriage, and he was pissed off because he had to use the bathroom real bad, and one of the monks peed all over the toilet seat and never wiped it off, so when he sat down to go, he sat in it, but he agreed to train Shaolin Crumb. Now, DJJ, he said, listen here, Shaolin Crumb, I'm going to train you so that you can enhance your skills. We're going to train for a whole year, but motherfuckers like you, I'm tired of people coming here for free training, trying to give me rice. Y'all don't work. Y'all don't pay no bills. Y'all don't contribute nothing to the temple, but want to train, 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 and don't get, give me no money. After, this, after that year is up, get your ass out of here. Whatever happens to you, happens to you. Peace. So DJJ, he was teaching Shaolin Crumb all the styles, the shadow fist, the disappearing fist, how to use a blade, how to use noon chunkers, refreshing, how to use your pole stab, how to kick. How to do this, how to do that. DJJ was going in, was going ham. And Shaolin Crumb learned everything from this man. Let's go. After a year, DJJ, he told Shaolin Crumb, look, motherfucker, it's time for you to go. It's been a year. You ain't paid no bills. I got to pay the mortgage for this temple. Miles to feed. Yo, you got to go. Whatever you learn, I hope you can stick it to you and go get Sweet Lou so you can get your money. But yo, I don't know where you're going to go, but you got to get the fuck out of here. Peace out. And they kicked me out. Finally, Shaolin Crumb made it to the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers, and he came across Pai Mei with his shirt off because he just got finished doing some push-ups and drinking uh, muscle milk uh, protein shakes and stuff like that. So he thought a girl was coming over, but it made him even more mad when it was Shaolin Crumb that popped up. Pai Mei got so mad at Shaolin Crumb, he put his clothes back on, pointed his fingers and started screaming and hollering at him. I'm like, you punk ass, you had her to come here. I thought you was my date. What are you here for? I know you ain't coming here looking for Sweet Lou because her family ain't paid the ransom yet. I whooped your ass before, and I'll whoop your ass again. Shaolin Crumb uttered the words, Buddha's name be praised. Got into his fighting stance, his ankles gave out, and he Shaolin Crumb got up, pulled out his pole staff, and he know that Pai Mei is a fierce fighter, so he also pulled out his hammer, too. Through all that training, Shaolin Crumb got a hammer and a pole staff. He pulled out his pew-pew, shot Pai Mei three times. It was over. He saved Sweet Lou. Sweet Lou was like, oh, Crum oh, Shaolin Crumb, you came and saved me. You must love me. No, what the fuck you talking about? I'm here for my money. I kept working those rights fields for a whole year and trained at the Silent Temple. You better get that shit right and call your family.